Alright, <clears throat> let me see. Like I said, I know this gear is a 373. It's right here on the gear. And it's a Ford. And it's got a P81W. And then it's got an AA11411 1FDT. That's the only numbers I found on it. I want to say it's a 10 and a quarter. Uh, like I said, the tag's removed. I've got it to go back on it. But <clears throat> I've also got another tag come off another rear end somewhere. But this is the limited slip tag that goes on it. And this is sanded. So I'm thinking this is the one because I sprayed this rear end. This is the one and it's got an S157F and then a it might be 410. That ain't the right gear set. Let me go hold on a second. I'll go get that other one. Okay, this is my other tag here. 373 and it don't have a L between the gears, so it's open and it's 10.2 rear end, 9F. 29 up top it's got an s dash 114 h so this is the tag it goes on it i'll put it back on it that way next time i won't guess about it anyhow that 410 is probably one of my truck if i've already taken it off i got one laying there too it's on the truck so i got too many stuff too many gears and too many rear ends and too many front ends and not too much junk anyway i'll get back with y'all Alright, I'm going to see if you can see a messed up gear set. This is a positive traction unit. See them teeth tore up? And there's a keeper in there. Don't know how that keeper works with a solid full floater axle. I don't remember I pushed the spring washer back to get them out before because the axles are bolted. But I'm going to have to knock it out of gear and roll it around so I'll get it out. But, spider gears are rounded and those gears are ate up. So, we're going to have to take them apart. Do what, baby? The mail lady came I just heard her. It's okay. No, you're not. You stay down here in the backyard. Okay. All right, boys. Let's see. I got a better idea of this here. There ain't no teeth left on this one. And that ain't the bad problem. That's got a few teeth on it. Friction disc. And then... That's got a few teeth on it. Alright. Those have been hitting in war there. Right here. Those have been hitting in war bad. I'm hard on stuff. I know that. Look at this one. Yeah. This one ain't got no teeth at all. It doesn't ream them off in that friction disc. And then it go like that. And then that's your spring disc. Alright. There's two types. This is a 10. I like that gonna be blaring. I'm gonna need to turn it. But anyway. Let me see here. This one is ten and a half. It is a full floater axle. They made two of them that are ten and a half. Full floater. And they made one, I think it's the seven lug heavy duty in the 150s that has the same spider gears right here and clutch packs. Because they have keepers because of the way the axles are made like the General Motors. But the pin size looks like it's the same it might not be i might be in trouble yep i'm in trouble pin sizes are different so the pin is smaller 
in the seven lug heavy duty and then let's check the spider gears i've been told they were the same looks to be the same but looks are deceiving the clutch packs are the same well i say that yeah clutch packs are the same and just put the clutches on there let me back up some sorry about this laying on my belly here clutch packs are the same let's count teeth here if that's the same diameter let's go this one here let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so let's see here go one here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Different diameter. That's why the shaft and the carrier is different. So, my truck's down till I buy a set of gear. Clutches, I can use the clutches. The shaft diameter is different. That spline here is smaller. I can look at it and tell that. The inner shaft diameter and outer shaft diameter so i can put it back up there but i ain't hauling no loads because that gear is had it i mean done gone so i'll have to get the number i'm not even gonna put the uh good clutches in it i guess i'll go to pull apart in the morning find out what time they open see who's got a set of spider gears it has to be in a positive traction i've got another rear end uh, i'll be afraid to pull a trailer i might have to just jump drop the back end of it where it sits and roll the gear out of it uh, that's probably what i'll do because i can't have this truck down and then i can order what i need because I don't have the carrier this one came out of. But I do have another one. It's an 04. So it should be a 10 and a quarter. Or 10 and a half. Not a 10 and a quarter. And it's a heavy duty 3 quarter ton. Or excuse me. 1 ton F350. So we'll go that route. So for tonight. I'll upload. This conglomeration of videos. And call it quits. Because I can't do nothing. Let me put her back together. Appreciate it, fellas.